Is there no gyms in your area? Are Pokemon staying in gyms forever and you're never getting your payout of 50 coins? Well, let me show you guys how to get free coins in Pokemon Go without gymming. What's up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about survey apps. This is a requested video. How survey apps work, how to get free money that you can reinvest into Pokemon Go, into Pokecoins, into event tickets, into whatever you want to buy in Pokemon Go outfits. Before we start, I just want a disclaimer. These take time. If you're looking for a get rich quick or a get 100 Pokecoins tomorrow, this is not how it's going to work. You're not going to be getting $100 worth of money for at least like a year's time with these methods. There's literally no way to get Pokecoins super fast in Pokemon Go other than buying it with your own money. So if you're the need of Pokecoins right now, you have to use your own hard earned money from either working a job at McDonald's or wherever, because that's what I used to do. But these methods do get you coins over the time, can get you a couple free items, and it does add up over time, but it does take time. Timestamps will be below, by the way, for any section. So if you're curious on any single app I'm gonna cover or any topic I'm gonna cover, please check below. So the first topic I just wanna explain how these surveys apps work. Pretty much what you're doing is you're selling your thoughts for money. Big companies like Google will pretty much give you a survey and ask your thoughts on a certain topic in which they can then sell that information and your ideas into companies that are looking on ways to advertise to people, on information on how consumers' ideas work. Pretty much you're taking your opinions, your ideas, giving them to a company so that they can later sell that to bigger companies and they pay you a bit of that money. So really wishy-washy kind of idea. And if you're not into this idea, at all, just skip this video. The only way to get Pokecoins for you is going to be gymming. But if not, let's get into it. Also, quick disclaimer, none of these apps are sponsored at all. I just want to share them because they have helped me get a couple Pokecoins in Pokemon Go. Number one, most famous one is going to be Google Opinion Rewards. This one is probably the most safe too because it is by Google. So I've heard this works on iOS and Android. However, most of you iOS people can let me know if you can find this. You're going to want to search Opinion Rewards on either Apple Store or Google Store. And here, this is the one that's going to pop up, Google Opinion Rewards. You're going to want to open that up you're gonna have to sign in through a Google account. So just have a Google account ready or make one if you don't have one. I don't know who doesn't have a Google account nowadays. Once you get in, this is what it's gonna look like. To stop, you can see the Google Play balance. This does expire. As you can see, part of your balance is expiring on April 15th, 2022. You're gonna pretty much wait here and they're gonna give you surveys every once in a while. I get about a survey, maybe every week, every two weeks. They don't come in fast. They're really hard to predict, but I just have the app installed so that if a survey does come in, you can get some money. It's a very simple app. This is one of the pages you can come here and you can look at your rewards history. So this is all the money I've made. I've made 11 bucks from it. I've done 54 surveys. Surveys pay out between 10 cents and a dollar per survey. When you're doing these surveys, guys, answer these questions super honestly. But yeah, that's pretty much the app. You come in here, you just wait. A survey will pop up. You'll get a notification and it'll say a survey is ready. You can earn rewards by giving your opinion. So go ahead and give your opinion and you will get paid over time. When you come into the Pokemon app, when you're about to buy something, for example, here, let's say I want to buy a uh, 550 poker coins. When you're choosing your payment method, one of the options will be your Google Play balance, which you can check. And then that means it'll invest however much Google Play balance you have into your next purchase. Then you can go ahead and use those poker coins on whatever you want to buy. Again, let me know if the iOS users can get this app. I will show you guys how to find apps on iOS in a bit. So don't worry if this doesn't work on iOS, but I have heard that it, you can get it on iOS and Android. Second app we're going to be talking about here is Zap Surveys. This one you guys saw me featuring in the video. Let's go ahead and open it up. You're going to want to download it. First thing you're want to do is you're going to want to create an account. Of course, like any app, when you're opening it, it will ask you to create an account. The first thing you get is like a $6 survey. This seems kind of like a survey that they get you, try to get you hooked in. They give you $6 right off the start. Answer the questions. Honestly, there are trick questions in this app to make sure you're answering the questions. Pretty much once you're in the app here at the top, there is a daily cash login. So you can claim that it gives you about like one cent extra every day in a row. You get it. So for example, here I'm on my one day streak. If I come back in 13 hours, I'll get two cents keep going up. So the more days you sign into this app and claim that, the more coins you'll get every day. When you enter this app, there's pretty much going to be three options here. Under Zap is the best match surveys, high value surveys, and the short quick surveys. These seem to always pay out the exact same, but pretty much just choose one, one you want to do. Remember, some of these questions will ask you for a bit of personal information. So if you don't feel comfortable sharing that, this might not be a way for you. I'm just going to go with a quick one minute survey. It's going to get me 10 cents if I complete it. Remember to read all the questions. Once you complete, 10 cents add to your account. You can take another survey or you can back out. As you can see here at the top, it's gonna give you your balance. You can come over to cash out. The one caveat with this app is you need to reach $25 to cash out. So you're pretty much just gonna have to slowly do surveys and sign in every day until you reach that $25. And then you're gonna cash out with PayPal, which you can then use your PayPal on Pokemon Go to end up buying Pokecoins. This app seems all right, but the cash outs don't seem that good for the length of the service and the amount of information they ask. And there also is a limited amount of surveys you can do like the other app 
every day. So it's only gonna get $25 in a day. It's gonna take a bit of time. Because as you can see, the survey I just did just disappeared. So once you do a survey, they seem like they disappear. So depending on where you live, some of these apps might not be available. You might be on ISO or Android or whatever, and you might not be able to get the apps I just mentioned. So pretty much, I wanna go through how you guys can find your own app on your own device, how you can go ahead and find survey apps, how to analyze if they're gonna be good or not, if they're safe and all that. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna search up some random survey app. We're gonna find out, we're gonna explore it. You guys can do the same right now as you're watching this video. So I can help you guys look through your app store, whatever country or device you might be on and find good survey apps so you can get some free coins. I like to just come here to the search bar on Google Play or Apple Store and search survey money. As you can see, scrolling down here, the other two we mentioned, Zap Surveys, Google Pay Rewards on here. But let's, for example, here, look at this one, Pull Pay, Earn Money and Free Gift Cards in Pull Pay. I'm gonna go ahead and install. Of course, always double check the reviews, see what people are saying. People are saying it's not good and this person says the app is amazing. So yeah, double check the reviews. Seems like they're overall pretty good rating and have a lot of downloads. So let's try it out. If the app is rated like under four star or three star, anywhere under that, I usually don't download it as most people have bad experiences with them. And also if the downloads are really, really low, then usually I wouldn't download it just because there's a reason not a lot of people are downloading it because it seems sketchy. Okay, welcome to Pull Pay. For example, here, we're just gonna, we're gonna press continue, choose a survey, complete a survey, choose a payment method. So yeah, it seems like they have PayPal. You can even do Amazon. This one, for example, here says you need to be at least 16 years old. So if you're not 16, you might have to find a different app if you're trying to pull pay. Then you can pretty much sign in here. I'm gonna sign in with Google. Remember when you sign in with these apps, they might spam you with emails. So you might have to go to their email and click unsubscribe to their email newsletter. Or if you sign in with Facebook, they might not spam you with emails, but just be wary, whatever account you're signing in with, you'll probably get spammed with emails. Okay, so we're signed in here. It seems kind of similar to Google Opinion Awards. Money at the top, survey says, welcome to PayPal. Here you can start your first survey and earn money. So I guess this is where we find the surveys. I'm gonna go with the five minute one. It says we can get 44 cents. So let's just go through this. Again, they do usually ask you for a lot of personal information like birth dates and stuff like that. So if you don't feel comfortable giving that information out, don't do the surveys. This is funny because these questions are pretty similar to the other app. So it seems like they might have multiple apps might own by the same company. Okay, so honestly, I was doing that survey, but the questions were taking a really long time. As you can see here, when I refresh, it gives me new surveys and it pretty much gives me the time it's gonna take to complete that survey. That first survey I think was a qualification survey. So it was trying to get information about me so it could later give me better surveys. But pretty much this app seems all right. As far as payout goes, you can either pay into your PayPal or get a Amazon gift card. And it seems like you can pay out at $10. Also here, it'll show you your history and your payments, let you invite friends, give you news and information. Overall, this seems like a pretty good app, but this one does seem like it takes longer. You can see some surveys are up to 30 minutes for just 25 Canadian cents, but it's nice that it shows you how much money you will get. So for example, I do a 24 minute survey and get $2. I'm also just noticing this now, but it seems like there's a rating beside these surveys. I believe this is probably rating how good of a survey is it? How much personal information do they ask from you? So I would take this into consideration when choosing what survey to do. I would try to do the higher rated surveys. So yeah, pretty much just look for those things, look for a clean looking app, look for the five star review, four star review, a lot of downloads, decent reviews when looking for apps on your phone or device because you might not have the same ones as me. Just to outro guys, is it worth doing this for you? If you really think about it, looking here at this app, 24 minutes to get $1.15, is it worth doing that or is it better to just go out? You might not be able to get a job, you might be too young, but if you are old enough, I think it's more worth it to just get a simple job at McDonald's where you get paid 10 bucks the hour, 15 bucks the hour instead of doing these surveys because in the end are these surveys free no you're investing time and thoughts into these surveys so it's kind of more like doing work it's up to you guys but that's pretty much the video thank you for watching question of the day will you be using these methods comment below any good survey apps you might have found on ios android i will pin good ones so if you're looking for more ideas and more apps that people have had success on let's make a huge hub in the comment section i'll pin some of the best ones that's pretty much the video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys can get some free Free pokey coins. Follow for more tips. Peace.